In 2024, the United States is poised to introduce a formidable array of advanced weaponry, showcasing cutting-edge technologies and strategic innovations. These innovations span air, land, and sea domains, emphasizing enhanced precision, versatility, and strategic adaptability. With advancement in stealth technology, intelligence gathering, and multi-mission capabilities, the weapons slated for 2024 underscore the nation's commitment to maintaining a robust and technologically advanced military. Today, let's have a look at these advanced weapons of USA to be introduced in 2024. The General Atomics Mojave An unmanned aerial vehicle with short takeoff and landing capabilities is currently in development by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems. Introduced on December 9, 2021, the Mojave is designed to serve in roles such as reconnaissance, close air support, and armed overwatch. It successfully conducted its initial test flight in the summer of 2021, and the official unveiling took place on December 9, 2021. The aircraft aims to function as an unmanned combat aerial vehicle capable of operating in rugged terrains with a combat loadout. Additionally, it offers the flexibility to be equipped with diverse electronic systems to support ground troops. Anticipated to be in service by 2024, the Mojave represents a significant advancement in unmanned aerial capabilities. The CH-47F Block II This is a heavy-lift transport helicopter featuring twin-turbine tandem rotor design intended for the transportation of 31 combat troops, artillery, and payload weighing up to 22,000 pounds. In 2020, the CH-47F Block II successfully completed 387 hours of developmental flight testing. Aligned for the Army's need for a robust heavy helicopter to execute a wide range of operations, the CH-47F Block II plays a vital role in tasks such as air assault, air movement, casualty evacuation, aerial recovery, and area resupply. Currently, the first two CH-47F Chinook Block II helicopters are in the final assembly phase at Boeing's Philadelphia facility, with delivery scheduled for early fiscal year 2024. The FIM-92K Stinger This represents an updated iteration of the manned portable surface-to-air missile system, incorporating enhanced electronic components and serving as an advancement over the 92J model. This new production version is adaptable for firing from diverse ground vehicles and helicopters, functioning as the air-to-air -air stinger. Particularly effective against UAVs, the system is designed to utilize a vehicle data link instead of the missile's own seeker for targeting. Drawing insights from experiences in the conflict in Ukraine, the FIM-92K missile has been developed, with anticipated clearance for operational use expected in 2024. The SM-6 Block IB An enhanced version in the arsenal of the U.S. Navy incorporates a more potent rocket engine, potentially enabling the missile to attain hypersonic speeds. This upgraded SM-6 variant is likely designed to intercept hypersonic targets, including the latest anti-ship missiles from Russia and China. Demonstrating its proficiency in striking surface targets, this versatile missile can be deployed from any ship or location, aligning with the Navy's strategic goal of achieving sea control. Additionally, the Block IB variant boasts improved capabilities against ballistic missiles. Deployment of this advanced missile variant is anticipated in 2024, contingent upon successful execution of planned developments. The AIR CPSWS the intermediate-range conventional prompt strike weapon system AIR-CPSWS by the U.S. Army is an innovative ballistic missile engineered to traverse distances ranging from 500 to 5,500 kilometers, a capability previously restricted by the INF Treaty. On August 6, 2019, Lockheed Martin secured a $406 million contract from the U.S. Navy to advance a large diameter rocket motor for the support of this novel weapon system. As part of this agreement, the development of the new missile is slated for completion by January 2024. The Precision Strike Missile PRSM 
This is an upcoming short-range ballistic missile designed for the United States Army with the primary aim of replacing the MGM-140 ATA CMS. Engineered to effectively engage targets within a range spanning from 60 to 499 kilometers, the PRSM missile introduces an advanced guidance system for heightened accuracy in comparison to the ATA CMS tactical ballistic missile system. Anticipated to achieve initial operational capability in 2024, the inaugural PRSM iteration will have the capability to target stationary land-based objects. Subsequent versions are projected to evolve, enabling the tracking and engagement of moving targets both on land and at sea. The F-15EX Super Eagle This is a dual-seat iteration derived from the F-15X aircraft, potentially serving as an optimized solution for strike missions and a potential successor to the F-15E Strike Eagle. Noteworthy enhancements encompass the incorporation of the Advanced Missile and Bomb Ejector Rack System, facilitating the carriage of up to 22 air-to-air -air missiles. Other improvements include infrared search and track capabilities, advanced avionics and electronic warfare equipment, an AESA radar, and a revised structure boasting a service life of 20,000 hours. The inaugural flight of F-15EX took place on February 2, 2021. Originally slated for entry into service on 2023, delays have pushed the expected service commencement to 2024. The Air Force's proposed budget for fiscal 2024 allocates funds for the acquisition of an additional 24 F-15EXs, potentially expanding the planned feed to a total of 104 aircraft. The F-16 Block 7072 This stands as the most advanced version of the F-16 Fighting Falcon, integrating novel capabilities and structural enhancements to ensure the fighter's operational effectiveness until at least 2060. This upgrade results in 50% increase in the structural life of the new configuration compared to previous F-16 production standards. With the service life extended to 12,000 hours, the fighter emphasizes interoperability, with Allied forces. Notable features include Northrop Grumman's advanced APG-83 AESA radar and a revamped avionics architecture. The radar enhances all-weather targeting capabilities, while improved target area details and digital maps contribute to heightened situational awareness for pilots. The New Jersey SSN-796, belonging to the Block 4 of Virginia-class submarines, it is set to become the third vessel in the United States Navy, named after the state of the New Jersey. A key enhancement from the Block 3 is the reduction of major maintenance periods from 4 to 3, thereby extending each submarine's total lifetime deployments by 1. This cutting-edge submarine integrates the latest advancement in stealth technology, intelligence-gathering capabilities, and state-of-the-art weapon systems. The christening ceremony occurred on November 13, 2021, followed by the launch on April 14, 2022. New Jersey is scheduled for commissioning on April 6, 2024. USS Lyndon B. Johnson DDG-1002 She is the third and final Zumwalt-class destroyers built for the United States Navy. She was named in honor of Lyndon B. Johnson, who served as the 36th President of the United States from 1963 to 1969. Launched in Bath, Maine on December 9, 2018 and christened on April 27, 2019, the vessel embarked on a journey from Bath to Ingalls shipbuilding in Pascagoula, Mississippi on January 12, 2022. At Ingalls shipbuilding, the activation of combat systems will take place, with the ship anticipated to enter into service around 2024. Engineered as versatile multi-mission vessels with a focus on land attack and literal warfare, this class showcases a distinctive tumble-home hull form, reminiscent of historic ironclad warships. And these are the advanced weapons of USA to be introduced in 2024. Thank you guys for viewing in. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.